everyone and welcome to another video of Linux for absolutely beginner. My name is Chia from DevOps Easy Learning and today we'll be going through what is a CD command in Linux, right? CD just stands for change directory. That means you want to kind of move from one location to another. How are you going to perform that, right? In Windows, basically, this is really, really simple, right? Why? It is simple. You take your mouse and you can open files, open, you can open directories and you navigate exactly where you want. In Linux, you cannot use your map to, you cannot use your mouse to do so, right? You have to use this command here called change directory. And I'm going to explain exactly what all this cd dot dot backslash dot dot mean, or the cd hyphen and the cd teeter basically means. Now, let us learn this thing just by doing it, right? I'm not just going because we say CD, just mean move to the home directory. CD, um, Tether also is move to the home directory. CD dash also mean move to the previous directory. And we say CD dot dot, we want to move one step back. CD dot dot backslash dot dot, that's two step back. CD dot dot backslash dot dot backslash dot dot, three step back and so on. You can move to N steps right now let us start a little bit here in windows operating system let's see i can open this folder here called terraform i can open it yep i can see the content i can go ahead here and move to aws terraform as you can see i can move into resources and i can move into aws maybe easier i am here and if you click here this is the absolutely path of this object in windows starting from the root file system which is the c drive now if you want to go back where i was here before if you want to go back where i was before oops if you want to go back where i was before i was here in this the root of this folder called Terraform Course Del, Del, right? That means I want to move back how many steps? One, two, three, and that's it. If you move three steps back, I will be in this folder. In Linux, that is what we call CD dot dot, move one step, backslash dot dot, two step, backslash dot dot, three step, and we'll be in here. In window, simple. We don't do, we are not doing this through the command line. We are going to move. This is one step. That is CD dot dot. And if you check, we can see that we move one step back. Another step, CD dot dot. You can see here, we move two step back. Another one, we are back. We we'll check here, we basically move three steps back. What will happen if you want to go back straight where I was before? Linux through the Graphical user interface, I can't do that, right? I will need to open it again, again and again, but Linux will give me that option. For instance, let us now move into Linux. If we tap the three command line here, and basically this uh, was installed. If you uh, we kind of have a, a video already on how to install this. And if you don't know, just go ahead and install your three command line. It's really simple. First of all, I'm going to kind of go ahead and log in into a server here and I will launch a password. This is just one of our servers that will basically use at DevOps Busy Learning. And we are using the fully qualified domain name, install IP address here to connect. If you tap three here to see all direct stories right here. Let's see, I basically have this directory structure and I want to move into the last directory here, which is called Tata. If you tap LS here, you guys can see, I can now say CD and I went to development. I am right now in development. If you hit enter, as you guys can see here, I can say LS, I am in Tom. I can CD from Tom and tap LS. I am here now in Peter and I can CD in Peter, in Peter and tap LS. As you guys can see right now, I am in John and in John, we have Tom Tom, right? Uh, I am in John. And in John, if we tap LS, for instance, if we try to list the content of John, we are going to see that Tonton is there and we can see the in Tonton, in Tonton, oh, what's going on? We can see the in Tonton, tap. Oh, let me first of all see, oh, okay. We can first of all see the in John. We are not in John yet. And LS, we have Tonton, we can see the now into Tonton. And in Tonton, we have Tata, LS, we have Tata, right? 
that means we can cd now into tata and <coughs> oops let me clear we can cd into tata and basically have a typo here and ls we are in tata and if we type pwd this is the absolute path of this folder starting from the root file system right now let me type the tree command one more time if we type the tree command here i won't see anything because uh that's not possible but i will say three command and i want to list everything in my home directory which is td i am back there now <clears throat> how am i going to go back to development or to my home directory i need to use to this slash home tier i need to use cd dot dot one backslash dot dot two backslash dot dot three backslash dot dot four backslash dot dot five backslash dot dot six to go back right that means if you say cd dot 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 first of all it will move me one step back check this out pwd as you can see i am no more in Tata, but I am in Tong Tong. And if you say CD dot dot backslash dot dot backslash dot dot backslash dot dot, this is going to move me four step back, which is one, two, three, four. That means I will be in development. If you tap PWD, as you can see, I am in development. And if you tap LS in development, we have Tom, which is here. And I can go ahead again and tap CD dot dot one step, and I am back. So my home directory, PWD, isn't it? Now, if you go ahead and type the three command line here, type three again, it's just a package. If you don't have it, please go ahead that you install that type true instead of three. Oops. Now, let's say I want to move in here, but I don't want to stop. What can, what I, what can I do? I can use the CD command. When I say CD, and I will hit the first one. I know that it's development. Yes. And I can tap, tap, tap to see exactly what is in, in development. We have in development, we have Tom. If you tap, tap, it will show me exactly. I'm going into Peter. Tap, tap. As you guys can see, I just use tap, tap now to navigate straight to Tata. Very fast, right? And because there's nothing that I'm going to choose on the way. If there was something, it will say, hey, in this directory called Tata, we have uh mommy and we have daddy which one do you want to choose and i can choose to go to mommy or daddy it's up to me this one is really really fast and it speed up your process through the command line right while doing something you will be you can work efficiently right because you don't want to cd into one specific store you cd you cd you know exactly where you you are going and you can take it straight and i can hit enter here and you can see here pwd we are exactly in there let's say i want to go back straight where I was before, as I went with her with non-stop, this was non-stop, as you are going to Cameroon, they can say, okay, airplane, we are going to onboard you here at George Bush, like at George Bush airport, and you'll be going non-stop maybe to France, right? When you are in France, when, if you please have a way that just with one push, you are back again in George Bush airport, right? What? That's what just happened here. We move here non-stop to France from George Bush Airport to France with non-stop. Now, if can we go back to George Bush Airport again? Yes, with just one button. Yes, but still we can do all this stuff, right? We move here into this country. We stop here, excal, 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 and we we'll still hit France here, right? And the same thing now. If we want to go back with Linux. We can go through all this stuff or we can do a lot of stuff now cd hyphen mean what take me to the previous directory where i was before moving if you tap enter and tap pwd p wd you guys will see that i am back to where i was before that means if you cd for instance you say development and this hit enter pwd you can see the path if you say cd hyphen it is going to take you exactly where you were before. And if you tap CD hyphen again, it takes you to the previous directory, which is just development and Tom, right? And if you just say CD, it takes you straight to your home directory. Like if you say PWD, I am in my home directory and I can navigate again into a specific directory here, LS. Another one, let's say you want to go home, you like somewhere, when you travel, you're in Dallas, right? And if you have your car, if your car have something like a GPS incorporated, what can you do? You set up your home address, right? You press your car, you say home. It is going to take you home straight. Your car know already that, hey, 
we are going home and it's going to take you home. Same thing in Linux. I want to go home. My home, it is, is slash, it is home slash tier. What can I do? I can just have CD, either CD or CD tier. CD or CD tier, it's going to take me home. If I was a root user, it is going to take me in slash root. If I was a regular user, it is going to take me in slash home and my username. Let's check this out. And if you tap PWD, as you guys can see, it take me back. If you say CD dash to go to the previous directory where I was before, I can type just CD again. It is going to take me home. If you tap PWD, as you guys can see, I am home, guys. Please, if you like this video, let me know in the comment below. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so, so that you will be notified when we publish a new video. And also, please don't forget to follow us on social media such as LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and so on. Thank you. Bye-bye.